Now you can turn your 1022 into the coolest custom gun ever with AGI's course on building the custom Ruger 1022 rifle. With over five hours of instruction, this is the most comprehensive 1022 course ever created. Custom gunsmith Jack Landis guides you through a sea of options so you'll be able to build the 1022 of your dreams, including barrels of all types, custom receivers, triggers, trigger parts, and trigger housings, stocks of all shapes and sizes, magazines, optics, accessories, and more. Ruger now has out their 1022 Challenger, and uh, Boyd and several other people have stocks out for to fit these guns as well. Now, what we have here is two versions. As you can see, the end of the barrel here is threaded half by 28 for your standard 22 caliber silencer for those of you in non-NFA states. And uh, this is really a nice setup. Eight inch finned barrel from uh, Tactical Solutions. We have uh, the uh, X-Ring two guide rod action from Tactical Solutions. Hard to keep Tactical Solutions and Tactical Innovation separate. They're both in Idaho. They both have a ton of great 1022 products. And this is a Tactical uh, Innovations uh, blue anodized receiver, trigger, paddle, uh, release, etc. with a swift scope on top. Once he's reviewed all the options and showed you the best combinations, he gives you everything you need to know to build a gun for targets, varmints, tactical shooting, or just plain fun in either 22 or 17 calibers. He shows you how to achieve maximum performance and reliability by properly setting the headspace, curing that infamous 1022 barrel droop, modifying the receiver for cleaning from the breech, safely and correctly performing a trigger job, and more. You're going to set your stone on that like this. You're going to set your part on here. You now have a 90 degree angle so that when you start stoning your sear or stoning the um, uh, top of the hammer to reduce the engagement, things are going to stay square. And it's going to take you a while to do it. And that way, as you reassemble and reassemble, uh, you're going to get it right and you're probably not going to go too far. All right? Now, how are we going to start this? We need to know that we're cutting straight and how much we're cutting. Now you could put dicum on the part you're going to cut or you can do what I do which is just use a uh, felt marker. You can use black, you can use blue, you can use red, you can use whatever makes you happy. But now when you cut, um, you'll see where you're removing it. Now nine times out of ten you'll find out that this stuff is not square from the factory. So I put a little oil on the side of the stove and I'm starting with a medium and I'm going to go ahead and start make a few cuts and let's see, looking at the marks. Yeah, well, now that'll show you right there where you cut and we're only cutting on one part. That shows you immediately that the factory cut on the sear was not square. With over five hours of instruction, we leave no stone unturned as Jack shows you dozens of options and gives you insider tricks like how to make your own automatic bolt release trigger over travel adjustment, and extended magazine release. There really is just too much to mention in this comprehensive course. And when Jack is done building his gun on camera, he even takes you with him to the range to put it through its paces. So if you ever toyed with the idea of customizing a 1022, this is the course for you.